What's up gamers? GamerDad here. This is a guide to help you complete the week 7 weekly quest, Headshot Opponents with the Cobra DMR. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button, show me that support. I really appreciate it. As well, do consider using my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It would be most awesome if you did so. So, for this challenge you need to get 5 headshots on opponents. That's players, and that would include NPCs whom, whom you challenge, I would suspect, but it also includes the high card bosses. Anytime there's opponents involved in the challenge, I always recommend going for the high card bosses. So you can find a high card boss at Brutal Bastion, at Mega City, and at Shattered Slabs, but do note they do not spawn until about eh, 70 or 80 players being left in the game. Maybe it's 10 minutes into the game. It's hard for me to say, and I'll highlight that when I get to that point. But I always like going after the high card boss at Shattered Slabs. I'm gonna land at this location I've got marked right there for a couple of reasons. I know there's a couple chests. There's sometimes the um, regiment footlocker here, the scout regiment footlocker. It's obviously close to Shattered Slabs, which puts me in a good position. There's also a bounty board here, which puts me in a position to go after a player. But yeah, there's tons of loot here. Now, because this was in the line of the battle bus this time, there was a really good chance someone, someone was going to land here. And of course, here they are. And... Trust me when I say that recording videos and doing challenges is much tougher than just doing the challenges. The pressure is on, everybody's watching, and I've got one chance to do this right. So I did kind of muck the shots a bit there, but at least I didn't die and I did eliminate that person. So I'm going to get this chest, and I'm basically going to go about and loot this entire place. One score here is finding the Cobra DMR. You can find them on the ground, within chests, but... And you can um, find them in a vending machine. So this was a lucky score for me. I didn't actually have to come across the Cobra DMR. They are pretty prolific though. So I've obviously bought the rare DMR. And I've bought some extra bullets. I always have gold. I always focus on having lots of gold around. So as I find shields, I'm going to shield up. I don't want to die while I'm doing this challenge. I'm going to get any ammo I can. There's usually a chest right here. I'm going to pick that up. Now before I bail out of this place, I'm going to go hit my uh, the bounty board. Interact with this, boom, and now there's going to be a big yellow circle on my map, and that's where another player is. So if I want to go after a player, prime candidate's right there. Otherwise, you can just listen for people, you can see them, and then you go and try and headshot them. So for me right now, I could have gone after that player, but to be honest, I really like going after the high card bosses. Uh, I find it's extremely easy to do. It does, then you don't have to rely upon, you know, are you finding a player who's better than you, weaker than you? That doesn't become a, a concern. Really. So you do have to wait it out a little bit. There's 60 people left in the match here. The high card bosses will uh, are about to appear any time now. Um, I've got the ODM gear, which is awesome for traveling around the map. I totally love this, this um, the ODM gear. It's such a useful item. To be honest, not even for attacks, which it is pretty decent for, but just to move around. So... I'm going to show you on the map here. So once the high card boss spawns, you see this moving around. It's like a little eight ball with a key. That is the boss and his two henchmen. So you want to head there. Now, note, the boss and the henchmen are not hostile until you shoot at them. So if you really want to be ballsy and risk it, for me, I can't die. It doesn't do well for my video. You could get like right in front of these guys and then fire at the headshots much easier. For me, I want to make sure that I get my headshots and also then last to the end of the fight. Um, so I'm trying to do it from afar. So it's not perfect, but anytime you've got head, uh, head, uh, anything to do with opponents, I recommend going after these bosses. So as you can see, I end up nailing three of the headshots right there. Now the bosses just came up the zip line, and I'm going to get my last two headshots now on that boss. Anytime you're in trouble or if you need to reload, do not be afraid to retreat for a moment. Just go there, reload, and then come back and see. It gives me a chance to refocus. There we go. So there's two more headshots, and the challenge is now complete. So at this point, I'm going to eliminate the two henchmen here. Then I'm going to go after the vault card, and I want to score myself some uh, items from the vault. I'll get some gold in there. There's a ton of gold. Tons of good items. So And you also get the bonus XP for taking out the boss with this challenge. So... Great way to do this challenge by going after a high card boss. And then once the boss is dead, you just find that vault card, go over to the vault, open it up, and enjoy the spoils of your de victory here and your defeat. So I do hope the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like in the video. Leave me a comment. 
And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button, show me that support. As well, please do consider using my creator code GAMERDAD in your Fortnite item shop. Good luck with your challenges, and until the next video, this is GAMERDAD.